Hey guys, this is uh, part two of my uh, LED flashlights video uh, videos. Um, I'm making for uh, LSU Tigers 1010. Uh, again, I hope this uh, information helps you out. Helps you to uh, uh, pick a flashlight that will work for you. Um, uh, let's see. I have uh, on the right here. I have um, three of my um, modified mag lights, uh, and then on the left here, I have a Streamlight brand uh, Twin Task. Now this is a pretty cool light. I want to show this uh, because this is kind of the best of both worlds. Uh, people picking, they don't know if uh, they want to get an incandescent light, uh, which is, if you don't know, just a traditional style bulb. Uh, and how that works is that the electricity heats up a um, filament inside the bulb itself, and that's what creates your light. Uh, and some other people want to upgrade to LED technology. Uh, but there's a, there's a big difference in, in the light output on LEDs as compared to... Um, uh, incandescent bulbs. Uh, this is the best of the both worlds, which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, this light, uh, I had added, there's little grooves here, there's four grooves. I added these glow-in-the-dark O-rings. Uh, they do not come with the light. Um, like I said, this is the brand is um, Streamlight flashlights, and the model is uh, Twin Task. Now, this is a three AA size light. This exact same light also comes in different sizes, like a, um, a 2D uh, size or a 2C battery size uh, and of course the bigger the batteries the more output you're going to have or more um, uh, battery uh, power you're going to have so the longer it will last uh, but I found this to be uh, a decent size for me and I had traded on the forms for it alright so how this works you see in the head here uh, you have three uh, five millimeter LEDs okay and then in the center it's kind of hard to see it's a little blurry but in the center you have an um, uh, incandescent bulb. Now when you, here's the, the, the uh, switch turn on. When you click it once and let go, you have the incandescent bulb, okay, which you can obviously see is pretty bright. Right? If I kind of get an angle there, you can see in the middle uh, where it's coming out from. Uh, but it's a bright light. And you can see that purple kind of stream because uh, the camera can't really cope with the, the light. Uh, then you click it again to turn it off. But when you click it on the second time, it's going to switch to the LEDs. Okay, so now you have the three LEDs for light. Now, if I could show you on here, it's kind of hard to tell, but the LEDs itself have kind of a purple tinge, a purplish blue. Uh, I know it in the video I'm looking at my screen behind the camera here, and it appears just to be white. Uh, but in life, it's a, a purplish or bluish hue, uh, as opposed to the incandescent which is a very um, neutral kind of off-white or yellowish type light uh, what you're used to like I guess in your house uh, you know in old uh, lamps um, you know or uh, you know house lights uh, it's a little um, it's a, a cooler color uh, most LEDs these days good LEDs are just a pure white um, but like I said in this you have the uh, you have the LEDs which are kind of a purplish blue hue and then when you switch back over to the incandescent you have that kind of off-white color um, again, the advantage of this is that you want different kind of lighting for different situations. Uh, let's say, you know, the um, incandescent is much brighter, so you're using this, you know, you're in the woods or whatever, or doing whatever you're doing. Uh, let's say you get to a survival situation. Uh, now you need, your, your three batteries you have need to last you, so you might want to switch over to the LEDs. Obviously, you're going to uh, um, have a prolonged um, battery life on LED uh, lights rather than the incandescent. Um, so, you, you know, it, it really depends on the situation you're in and uh, what you're using light for. Uh, but you have the option to switch over from incandescent to uh, LEDs, which is great. Um, the only thing I wish, I wish they had uh, some kind of system where I can rotate this, you know, or push a second button for just the LEDs. The only thing that stinks is that you have to rotate by clicking on and off between LEDs and incandescent. You know, that's the only, uh, the only drawback, I think. So, but it's an awesome light, and like I said, they, they come in different uh, different cell sizes. So if you don't like using double A's and you want a bigger light with uh, D batteries, uh, they have a version for that too. Uh, so anyway, moving on, these are my three mag lights, three different sizes: the one triple A solitaire model, the um, two triple A model, and then the two double A model. Um, I'm not really going to talk about this, only because this was a custom modification. Uh, it was upgraded to an LED. Uh, by a uh, CF, uh, excuse me, 
um, Candle Power Forms member, and it's kind of hard to explain um, how to do this because it, it uses a, uh, you know, the battery you can just go out and buy, but it all, it, you know, uses a uh, CR123 battery, but it, it, I had to get these pieces done because I couldn't do this, and this is kind of like a, a resistor in there, a piece with a resistor. So it's it's kind of it's kind of something you can't just go to the store and purchase. So I'm not really gonna talk about this that much, um, but I have to say if you check out Candle Power Forms and you um, have a solitaire and want to upgrade to LED, uh, you can read about that on there. Uh, awesome, awesome upgrade for such a small light. Uh, the next one though, uh, you can purchase. Uh, this is a two two AAA um, size mag light, and I have an LED upgrade in here, which is extremely extremely bright. Uh, for its size, um, let me see if I can get the uh, brand on this upgrade. A simple module. Um, this is what it looks like. It's by pins. Uh, I'm trying to get it's the Terralux uh, Terralux upgrade. Now these upgrades they range in prices. Uh, this one I believe is probably close to twenty dollars, uh, which is a very expensive uh, investment for a light of this size. Uh, honestly, in, in all honesty, I would suggest uh, purchasing something like that um, that Phoenix light before you did something like this. Uh, I, I do this just because, you know, flashlights are kind of a side hobby for me. Uh, so I thought, I thought this was really cool. Um, but it's not something for everyone. Obviously, the, the price, uh, price range it's in. Um, but I wanted to show it anyway, just because I thought it was cool. Uh, also, something else I want to show you guys, which you might not, not might not already know, uh, like I showed you that battery on the other one, the two two AA um, mag lights. There's something called a candle mode. That's all, and you can do this with any of them. Doesn't matter what kind of bulb you have, whether you have an upgrade LED or a regular bulb. You take the head, you put it down on the table, okay, just like that, with the um, the lens part down. And you put the body right into the, the uh, case there. And that will hold it upright uh, so you can use it like a candle, an electric candle. Uh, I, I do this all the time when the, when the power goes out. I put one of these in like uh, in a two or three different rooms because I have a few of them. And uh, it lights up the, uh, the whole area. It's really great. Uh, again, just something you might, you might not know. Maybe you didn't know. But uh, if you didn't, you just learned it. Pretty cool. Um, anyway, the last one here I want to show you is my... Uh, favorite upgraded uh, mag light. Uh, this one, this big thing, this cumbersome piece here, it just helps it from uh, rolling when you put it on a table. But uh, also, there's a red lens in there. Let's just pop that off. That just uh, pulls on and off. Okay, I can take the lens in and out if I want to use that or not. And the bezel piece there. Uh, then I have my mag light. Now, this has two upgrades. This has a. Uh, this also has a Terralux uh, LED module which is about twenty dollars. It's extremely bright but my favorite piece on here is the uh, tail switch. It's an IQ switch made by Night Eyes. Um, I don't want to quote a price on this because I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, probably maybe fifteen dollars or less but this is awesome. Uh, you replace the regular tail uh, tail piece with this and this enables you to click the light uh, on and off. You have, to, you have to rotate the head just a little to get the circuit uh, connected and then by clicking that back piece there and it has a blinking light when it's on a red LED uh, it turns the light on so you have a tail switch uh, also there's five different modes when you click it on bright and then the second one's less and less the third less and then it goes to a um, a uh, blinking blinking mode a slow strobe and then if you cycle through them again you have the uh, fast strobe. So high, medium, low, sh slow strobe, fast strobe. And of course you have the light on there. So when the light's off, this will blink to let you know that it's uh, engaged, the power. And then shut that off, you just you rotate the bezel again. And that'll cut power to that. But uh, I think that's a pretty cool, innovative piece there. Like I said, probably about $15 or less. Um, but interesting. I, I, I like it a lot. Um, anyway, uh, I showed you a bunch of different stuff, but uh, in the end I'm going to suggest that you either get the Phoenix, uh, any model Phoenix, um, or upgrade a Maglite. So I hope this uh, video was helpful. Thank you for your time.